Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for joining me on another edition of the Weekly Pointers News Update. We've got a lot of stuff to cover. We're gonna talk about Q2 bonus categories with the Chase Freedom Flex, IHG new rewards program delays, Built adds a very nice transfer partner, and we're gonna talk about a few of the votes that are going on in Washington, D.C. right now that could impact you directly. And of course, we're gonna end the show on a very good food deal as well. We've got a lot to cover. If you're not familiar with the Weekly Pointers News Update, Update, it is so simple, okay? My goal is to catch you up on all the news you may have missed over the last week regarding credit cards, points and miles, finance, money, and everything in between, and we make it super easy to follow. First of all, on one side of the screen, you'll see a list of the topics that I will be covering today. The highlighted topic is the one I will be covering at that specific time, and then there's a timer below to let you know how long I will be discussing that particular highlighted topic. And down in the description below, you'll find chapters as well if you want to skip ahead but why in the world would you wanna do that? The goal is to catch up on all the news when you watch these videos before we get going. Don't forget to be awesome, give me a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. A lot of stuff to cover today and don't forget as always, the last news topic will be a really good food deal for you as well. So hang in there, hang into the end of the video let's get going. First, let's talk about the Chase Freedom Flex. And if you're not familiar with the Freedom Flex, here's the 15 second rundown. The Freedom Flex gives you bonus categories every single quarter that allow you to earn five times points on those particular bonus categories. That five times points is up to $1,500 in spend in that given quarter. And the bonus categories for Q2 have been revealed. Those are Amazon, and select streaming services. Now, to be honest with you, this isn't quite as exciting as some of the other categories that we see throughout the year, like groceries, gas, big box stores like Costco or Sam's Club or something like that. This is a little bit different, and I'm a little disappointed when these come around because let's be honest, unless you're streaming all 50 streaming services, it's really hard to get the value out of a five times bonus category, but at least it's something. In terms of Amazon, I mean, you can certainly buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. In my opinion, not the most exciting quarter in the world, but usually we'll see some better categories categories as the year goes on. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you updated as soon as those come out. IHG is delaying their new rewards program rollout. If you'll recall on the Weekly Pointers News Update, we talked about some of the changes that were upcoming with IHG rewards. However, those have now been delayed and it looks like the changes aren't even going to be able to go into effect until late April at the earliest. Now, we'll keep an eye on this to see what happens, but with these new reward program changes, we were going to see new credit card offers that make it easier to earn status, new tier levels as well, the ability to combine points. There were a lot of different factors that played into this and a a lot of people were pretty excited about it, right? It gave you a better opportunity to earn status with IHG. However, that has been delayed. Uh, we don't really have a good reason for why that is the case, but it has been delayed. So just hang in there if you were waiting for that rewards program change. We've still got a ways to go. One of the most interesting cards that came out last year was from Built. And Built had a credit card that allowed renters to pay their rent with a credit card. And they were able to save up money for a down payment on their home through the rewards for that particular card. It was a very unique card and I've got a video down in the description below where you can take a look at my review of the Built card. Well now Built has added a new transfer partner, United Airlines. That's right, now you can use your Built points to go towards United Airlines. And they're also the only loyalty rewards program to offer both United and American Airlines transfer for partners. They're continuing to grow and it's really exciting to see this kind of game changer card come out and be so aggressive with transfer partners because that's where you're going to get your most value at the end of the day. So again, if you're not familiar with the Built card, this was just a quick hitter to remind you to check out that video down in the description below. And even if you don't rent, maybe you know someone that does. Maybe you have a college student that's paying rent or something like that. Maybe look at the Built card. It's something to consider for sure. Let me know what you think about this change down in the comments. All right, let's talk about some news that came out of Washington, D.C. And before you say, Brandon, I don't like politics. Why are you talking about it? I'm not talking about politics. These three stories will directly impact you, I guarantee it, all right? The first story, the Fed did hike the interest rate a quarter of a point. We predicted that based on the predictions of other really smart people. Economists all over the country pretty much predicted that. So that means your home mortgages, your car loans, and any other loan that you take out, it's gonna cost you more money in interest uh, when that goes into effect. So that's not really exciting news. And as a real estate agent, I know that that directly impacts the real estate market, especially with the spring market coming up. But trust me, these are still historically low rates, so don't freak out about the quarter of a point. Yes, it does suck, it's terrible, it's not fun when it goes up, but it's not the end of the world, okay? The second bit of news is that the Senate, on a bipartisan basis, 
voted to end the TSA mask mandates, which is pretty exciting, okay? Now, it is important to note that the TSA did extend this mask requirement until April the 18th. However, the Senate, again, did vote to get rid of this mandate on a bipartisan level, which is pretty exciting. We don't see a lot of work across the aisle. However, it has brought about a veto threat from the president. So even though it passed the Senate with 57 votes, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to pass as a whole. But this is certainly good news if you're tired of wearing masks for travel. At least it's being put on the table, which is something that hadn't been talked about for quite a while. So just keep an eye on that. Be aware of it, that the votes are coming, and it may directly impact your travel. And the third bit of news is actually pretty exciting because the Senate did vote to end daylight savings time. And again, it has to go through a lot of other processes before this is even considered or signed off on by the president. But the Senate did vote to get rid of daylight savings time. I, for one, could not be happier with this. I've never heard anybody that's woken up and said, man, I'm really glad the time change came. This is really helping me. No, it's not helping anybody, okay? And the way it looks like it's going to work is that it won't take effect until 2023. And the idea is to give people more daylight in the evening time. So if you're tired of, you know, when the winter time comes around, it getting dark at 5.30 or 6 o'clock or whatever it is where you're at, then you get an extra hour of daylight, all right? Well, again, if you do that, you're going to have a little bit darker period in the morning. So it depends on if you're more excited about the mornings or more excited about the late afternoon evenings. I'm curious to hear what you have to say about this because the daylight savings time thing drives me absolutely batty. I can't stand it. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Maybe I'm the crazy one. The Washington State Legislature has passed a measure that is going to move forward $150 million that's going to bring high-speed rail travel between Seattle and Vancouver. This is pretty exciting because a lot of people may do cruises that leave from Vancouver or from Seattle. I know when we went on an Alaskan cruise, we had to pick whether we wanted to leave from Vancouver or Seattle. So this gives you the opportunity, if you wanted to visit one of those other cities before or after a cruise, say, or if you're just taking a vacation to one of those two cities, then you can take a high-speed rail back and forth and the idea of this is to bring clean energy high-speed transport uh, to and from both of those cities. It's 150 million dollars. The only downside is that it's projected not to finish until 2035. That's a little bit of ways away, just a little over 10 years, but it's a massive project. Now, all the details haven't been ironed out with this. The reason I bring this up on the video is because I'm curious to hear what you think about high-speed rail travel. Have you done this in other parts of the world? What do you think about it? Do you think it's a good use of money? And there's no wrong answer to this. I mean, everybody's got their own opinions on it. But for one, I think it's pretty exciting to be able to travel very quickly between Vancouver and Seattle. We plan on taking more trips out of those cities in the future, more cruises. So I'm excited to have the option to go to and from each very quickly quickly if I need to do that, but let me know what you think. So a little bit of bad news if you're a fan of Caesars Diamond status. You are no longer able to get Caesars Diamond status by matching it with Wyndham Diamond status. If you want to earn Caesars Elite Level status, now you are going to have to earn it. It's being reported all over the country that people that were status matching to get Caesars Diamond status are no longer seeing the Diamond status level. In fact, it happened to us as well. We went through, last time we were in Las Vegas, we actually physically went from place to place and just matched status while we were out gambling and having a cocktail or two, which is really smart, by the way. Uh, but we did that, and now our Diamond status is gone with Caesars. So just keep that in mind. I wanted to make a quick note of it here in the video. If you want Caesars diamond status it's not going to be easy as status matching anymore and caesar's diamond status is a good thing if you want to earn that all right i mean you can get free show tickets wave resort fees a $100 celebration dinner every year, much, much more, all right? So if you're interested in Caesars Diamond, it's still worth getting. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult to get if you were planning on status matching. And if you're familiar with the weekly Pointers News Update, you know that I like to end the show on a good food deal. And this week is no exception, and this time we're going back to Wendy's. I feel like Wendy's and Taco Bell just have promotions all the time, all right? But I want to read this promotion just to make sure I get it correct, all right? Through April the 10th, Grab a Dave single for just a dollar when you place an order through the mobile app. And then this refreshes in the app every day. So you can use this quite a few times. It goes through April the 10th. So if you want to get a Dave single for a dollar, they are fantastic. And it's a pretty good discount on the burger too. So let me know if you plan on taking advantage of that. I always get excited with discounted burgers, but maybe it's just me. All right, that was a fun episode. Let me know what you think about the stories from today, particularly Built adding United Airlines as a transfer partner, the Chase Q2 categories, the votes coming out of Washington, D.C., the IHG delays, and of course the Dave Single Burger. I mean, that's really important too. The high-speed rail, I think, is very interesting because it's a topic that's been brought up a few times before, but it hasn't really gained a lot of steam in the United States. And this is a big move going from Seattle to Vancouver with that high-speed rail. I'm curious 
curious to hear just your overall thoughts about high-speed rail and if you think it's a good investment. But lots of stuff covered today. And any comments that you have about any of the stories are going to be helpful, okay? Put those down in the comments below because we have a lot of new people that are into points and miles and travel and finance and all those things that are kind of getting their feet wet here and they're trying to figure out what's what. And anything that you can leave down there is going to help someone else learn a little bit more. It always helps to share stories. It even helps me. I mean, I've been doing this for a while. I've done a lot of travel, earned a lot of points. But I'm learning new stuff all the time from you guys down in the comments and I really appreciate everything that you're leaving down there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful or mildly entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, click, 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 you're going to get the latest information on credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, finance, cheeseburger deals, and everything in between. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. We'll see you soon.